Visualization is absolutely critical to reducing your scores, especially um, in the short game. What we have now is we have a 29 yard shot in front of me to this first pin. 29 yards to the front, I'm sorry, 29 yards to the fringe, to the front edge of the green, and then six yards into the, um, into the pin. So in a way, there's a couple of different ways to look at this, and we think about different zones on every single shot that we hit. Um, we hit to a zone one, which is kind of typically would be our, pit, our, our chip shots. Our zone two is kind of going up into this area here, um, and uh, between a chip and a pitch, okay? Zone three is gonna go up into the sky, maybe about nine, 10 feet high, and then zone four, you know, is our higher shot, something of that nature. So one could think about this kind of shot and say, well, we're gonna go zone four, and we've gotta hit this thing 29 or 30 yards and see if we can stop it, okay? Um, or I, what, I'm, what I see for myself is about a 25 yard shot, 24, 25 yard shot, and it's going to land just short of the green and it's going to roll up. So I'm actually thinking about zone two, which is going to be right in this area. I'm actually going to take, I'm thinking about a sandwich. So, so the best way to think of, do this is, is to visualize what I want to do is I want the ball to go like this up about this high. All right. It's then going to land a little bit short of the green and it's going to roll. Okay. I could try to stop this with a lob wedge and try to hit it 29 yards. But the biggest problem you have when you do that, you're trying to hit to a front pin, is if you miss, one, you may have a false front, okay? And then it's gonna come back. Two, it could be soft in front. And you have to be really, really precise with the distance control if you're gonna go zone three or zone four, okay? Um, some places, you know, we have to go zone three and zone four because it's elevated greens and things. But when you can, I like to play a low game, uh, get the ball on the ground, get the ball low and let it roll. And then understanding exactly how far each club is gonna go, okay? So I would typically think about this shot as a shot I'm gonna play a little bit more toward the back of my stance. Cause again, I'm gonna go zone two, which is about here. Think about a 25 yard shot, which is a club that's gonna take away about to this point. And then just swing and let it hit and then roll up there. Try to get myself within 10 feet for birdie um, or for par, depending upon where I am. But if I try to fly this there, um, I think I'm gonna be in a little bit more trouble. So let's see, uh, yesterday I did great at this, um, but that was yesterday. Let's see how I do today. And um, so I'm gonna put the ball back in my stance a little bit, think about, Flighting the ball this way, about 25 yards, land it, and then let it, um, and let it roll, okay? So, let's take a look. Okay. So, that's a little harder than, to, than yesterday. I mean, about 12 feet. Um, but I don't think that was too bad. I mean, I, again, maybe I hit it just a little bit hard, but... I'm trying, to visual, I'm trying to visualize that shot going up and letting it hit and roll, getting it on the ground and letting it roll to the, uh, to the pin. So there's our tip for today here at uh, Coach's Corner at Gold Canyon. If you got any questions, please let us know. You got my email address and information down here at the bottom. Uh, send me a note if there's something that you'd like uh, help with. See uh, any one of the uh, multiple instructors that we've got here at Gold Canyon, and we'll see you on the tee shortly. Thank you, sir.